does anybody really know what they're doing? Really ever? I mean, not just parenting. I was just like wondering ever for myself. Rugrats, Rugrats, the, the reboot series on Paramount Plus. Gosh, it's so much fun. I grew up on the show and now I get to watch it with my kids. And uh, it's just a blast. Two years out now. We're two years out from the debut of the show or, or about to be two years this is in May. And, and I'm curious, you know, what has the experience been like for you guys joining this iconic cartoon franchise? Ashley, I'd like to start with you. Oh, it's been just so, it's just so much fun. It's so much fun. And it's such an honor to get to say that this is something that I'm doing right now. You know, it's, I, I still can't believe it. It's, it's just been so great. It's such a great show. The group of people, I mean, the writers, it's so well written. The material is just solid. It's not just like a kid show, you know, it's truly good writing and um, great people, like real artists, all the all the actors on it are so great. I just, it's like nothing short of a thrill. I love it. Yeah, and I mean, I, I agree with all that. And, and to add to it, I'd say that it was such a, I mean, it's been a really tough two, three years for, for all of us. And this has been such a great steady presence. The way the way the kind of workflow works in animation is you do the initial recording and then you come back and revisit episodes. And I mean, I'm probably telling you stuff you already know, but you get to do some ADR and see what they're working on. And, um, you know, on-camera jobs are kind of, really quick few weeks and then you know you don't hear anything for a while but Rugrats for me uh, daunting to get into for sure trying to you know <laughs> fill the shoes of the great Jack Riley who did the first episode I mean the first um, version of it but once I got comfortable with new Stu I'm just I'm pointing that <laughs> new Stu um, like it. it's been such a, been such a lovely steady presence in my life for two yeah like you said like two years now that's so cool and and you touched on something I, I was curious about like finding the voice you know let's say for Stu was it difficult not to go back and like listen to the old show did you kind of have to put that aside or what was your process on that I think you have to I mean I think there's like like the the worst version of things is a is a bad imitation of of the original so I purposely stayed away from the once I got the job, kind of stayed away from watching any of the original. Um, and then I think, um, I, I, you know, if I remember correctly, like Ashley says, that the, the, the writing is so specific. I detected this kind of anxiety in Stu and this up-tempo kind of um, thing, but, but also layered in with some optimism and it just kind of spoke to where I was and I'd laid down my version of it. And then I think the rest was in the hands of the, the great people that put the show together and cast it and, you know, and, um, and yeah, just so honored that they, they picked me and, and that there was enough overlap with what they were looking for with Stu that we've, we've been able to make it, make it work. But I think, um, I don't, I can't speak for how other people work. I think for me, I, um, it's, it's got to, gotta hit some chord you know but for me personally and i'm i'm a i'm a relatively new parent i have a one-year-old um, oh, cool. Congratulations. And, and thank you so i'm uh kind of experiencing a lot of what students <laughs> experiencing so uh you know being able to unload all of that in a recording session is kind of awesome <laughs> that's very cool yeah. um actually you touched on something that that i also wanted to to go back to and you're talking about the writing of the show how great it is and something that I reflected on watching the original and watching the new version with my kids is how the show does such a good job of making the baby's experience relatable to children mm -hmm. and also crafting these adult characters that are aspirational. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not perfect. They're not, you know, they're not like the best parents in the world, but they are good parents and they're doing, they're doing what they can. And they're making it happen. Making, and, and I just thought that that was a really, really um, important influence to have on multiple generations. And I would love to get your input on that idea. Yeah, I think it I think the show does such a great job at that thing specifically. Right. It's like showing the adults as people. It's they're they're people <laughs> they're people who had children <laughs> so it's it, like that's what we do that's what people that's what we all are and Sometimes so they're not, 
<laughs> yeah, they're not getting it right. And you don't always know what to do. And there are like major anxieties and like, uh, and then also what I think I see in Didi so much and what's a recurring theme is she's a very creative person herself and is always trying to find the time for herself to to fuel her own creative life and she doesn't always know how to do it and it's hard to balance and mistakes are made and they and I just think that that's so good to see on a show like this it's like nobody does anybody really know what they're doing really ever I mean not just parenting I'm just like wondering ever for myself and it's I love that about it I I really really do yeah, I, can, I think, I mean, I think it's so refreshing. I mean, the flaws are the key to the whole thing, I think, because you you tune in and you see that these are flawed characters and then you pay attention. I think when something is uh, cloyingly sweet, um, it, it's you're like, that doesn't look anything like the world that I live in. And so uh, I, you know, I can't relate in thus, what am I going to get out of this? Whereas like, you know, um, these, these are, these, these people are just such lovable messes and you're right, their hearts are in the right place. We should all aspire to the kind of family and community values that they uh, aspire to. But, but man, do I love playing up this kind of screwed up corners of them. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's so fun. It is. It's tons of fun. It's tons of fun to watch. And, and I, I'm super excited about season two, which is coming uh, this Friday, April the 14th. I know. And, and, and volume and, and season one, volume two is now out on DVD. So people can go buy that have it for their their kids at home if if you're not streaming uh thank you guys so so much for taking the time to chat about regrets i really appreciate it <laughs>